This is Omar Ahmed for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. We're in Nottingham. I'm joined by Clifton Mitchell in the aftermath of Sandy Ryan's split decision loss. Uh, just give me your initial reaction, please, Clifton. Well, yeah, obviously disappointed. I thought we, I thought we nicked it, especially with her getting a point taken off her. She's using her head a hell of a lot. But no disrespect, congratulations to Faras. Uh, do remember, they were jumping around like they just won a world title. And that's my fighter's fourth fight. Understand? Getting there with two-time world champion and split decision. What can you say? Judges have got their decisions. I've got my decision. And uh, after the judging, after the last week or so, I'm not really going to get into it. How would you assess her camp? Uh, she had a really good camp. Diet was a little bit to miss, but she 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 perforate, perforated her eardrum in round six, and uh, she couldn't hear anything out of one of her ears. So. And to box the way she did and uh, showed strength and courage and determination, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that, you know. It's a setback, you know. Would like her to box her again. Next, do it again. But, but Is there some sort of rematch clause yeah, there? Yeah, the rematch clause in there, and I think there's an absolute barnstorm of a fight if we get that again. Um, but I do think that, you know, congratulations to the uh, Argentinians, you know. Congratulations to them. I thought I thought Sandy wasn't Sandy was probably 30% of the fire that she was but like I said you know, there's there's been problems outside but like I said there's no excuses here you know no excuses you said she had a good camp what what about this week in terms of uh, the media week and also making weight uh, and also at the weigh in how did you kind of assess her during the week um there's a few technical issues and a few issues that um, we won't talk about. But like I said, you know, you know, listen, she lost on points. Four fights to a two-time world champion, 25 fights, 120 fights. And uh, she definitely belongs in that. What was your uh, gut feeling after the fight itself? When that 10th round went, thought, did, were you confident you, you guys got it? I thought we nicked it. I thought, especially with them taking a point as well, I thought we definitely nicked it. But like I said, you know, Subjective opinions, aren't they? And like um, everybody wants to try and do the right thing. He can't be four rounds one way and four rounds the other way, and then one person gives it. You know, just a little bit. No, I've got, I've got no. How can I put it? I've got no problem with how they scored it. Understand really? Um, I just believe that Sandy wasn't at her best, no shape or form. And after about four rounds, she went flat, and there's a reasons for it. Understand? And um, the rematch, we'll see. Ultimately, yeah, my last question was going to be, ultimately, why do you believe Sandy overturns that in a rematch? Uh, talk is cheap. You will see. You will see why she overturns it. And I, I, I will say this on IFL now, yeah? She stops her in the rematch. Million percent. I put, I put my name on that, yeah? She stops her in the rematch. Million percent. That was 25%. That's all, 30%. Nowhere near where Sandy's at. And like I said, you know, and honestly, this is a blessing in disguise. Understand? This loss is a blessing in disguise because now she knows there's no shortcuts to this. None. So when she comes back, you'll see an absolute different, different animal. Understand? And like I said, it's easy for me to sit here and say this and say that, yeah? I'm the coach. She loses, I lose. The whole team loses. Understand? She doesn't lose on her own. The whole camp loses. Understand? One nation all day long. Big up the Rams. Clifton, appreciate your time. Commiserations on tonight. We look forward to the rematch, no, all right? No problem. Thank you. Cheers. Bye.